Okay, so today we're gonna check out a really interesting web page where you can create half tone effect. Of course, you can make this in Photoshop. However, this is a free alternative, and you know this is like way more elaborate. You can do way more with half tone effects, and it also has a really interesting future, which is the stipple effect. We're gonna explore this and show you how to do that a rare stipple effect. So let's take a look. All right, so this website is called the halftonemaker.com and you can make free halftone effects here. So first I'm gonna upload an image and let's go here to the load image, click on it and let's go and upload an image. So this is gonna be by default. You also got like three type of halftones. You got the square where basically the halftone is horizontal and vertically arranged and it's kind of boring. So we're gonna go and select the hexagon. So this is the best one and you also got a radial one which I'm not a fan of so I'm gonna go with the hexagon and here at the right side, you got the options. First, let's go to fit mode. I'm gonna select the fit to height. And then you got the resolution. You also can increase it, but I'm just gonna decrease it to a thousand. Then you got the blur, gamma and contrast. So here you can customize the contrast if you will. But right now I'm just gonna leave it as it is because the image is great anyways. So let's go to the grid again. This is the hexagon square radial. And then you also got the spacing. So this is going to increase or decrease the halftone effect. Probably gonna go with like 12. Then you also got the rotation. Or you can go and select the square. You rotate it that way to make it more interesting. Then you got the sampling. This is basically the invert. This is gonna add more contrast or less contrast. But right now it's just gonna go with the default. And check this out here. We got the stipple effect. So this is what I was talking about. You can customize here the stipple the smoothing iterations or whatnot. So right now you can see it's not updating it. So we're gonna to need to click on the compute and wait for it. It made the half tone inconsistent. So I'm gonna to try to decrease the smoothing, maybe decrease the spacing a little bit more, 12, and try another alternative. I'm gonna scroll up and I'm gonna decrease the spacing down to six. Let's go click on the convert again and play around with the settings until you're gonna get the best results. So check this out, I decreased to eight. So now the stippling is way smaller, but I'm gonna increase it, 10. There you go, I think this is great. And of course, if you wanna remove the stipple effect, you can click on the discard. I'm gonna increase the spacing back to normal. And let's scroll down. Let's go to the dots, open it. And here you can change up the circle. So we got like other shapes as well. For example, the triangle, take a look at that. This is really cool. Square, but you also can rotate the square if you want. If you wanna make it more exciting and you can also increase the size of the square here. So you get some really interesting effects. Let's go on, hexagon. And then you got the hexagram, which basically is a star. Let's check out the output range. Yeah, I think this is really cool. And about least you also got the color background or foreground color, you can change it and customize that however you like. Or you can go here to the swatches where you can find some random colors. Probably gonna go with this. And then if you wanna remove the background, you also got this feature, background removal. So here we're gonna need to upload the image, choose file. Let's reselect the image, open, click remove background. So now it's removed, click on apply, and there you go. If you wanna download the image, you got here the download as, you can download as PNG, increase or decrease the resolution all the way up, but you can see that here is already a pro future at 200. So if you wanna increase it, you're gonna to need to pay four bucks or download as an SVG file format. Again, this is a pro future. So pretty much this is how I work with this really cool effect. And this is how you apply the stipple effect. Thanks for watching.